Don't watch the trailers. Just watch the movie. I'm not going to say much. It's amazing. And I'm in complete disbelief that it actually happened. Well made, well acted. Well directed. Fun, funny and crazy with a ton of heart. Can't wait to watch it again. So guys today I am going to review a new movie. Spider-Man, No Way Home. For the first time in nearly 20 years, I may have seen my favorite Spider-Man movie. And I'm not like a kid who loves the Ice Age movies and since part 17 is the newest one they've seen, it's their favorite. Much like what they said about the 16 before it. No. I sat from almost the first 10 minutes loving this movie and debating if this actually beat out the magnificent 2002 Spider-Man and it's even better follow-up, 2004 Spider-Man 2. I will say this. This is my new second favorite of all 27 MCU movies. Easy. And it's easily in the top 3 of the 10 theatrical released Spider-Man movies. In fact, since part 2 in 2004, I have not been impressed with any of the Spider-Man movies until Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and this third Tom Holland-led Spider-Man series. I barely liked Tom Spider-Man, Homecoming and I refer to it Iron Man Jr. because it was way more about Iron Man's smarts and involvement and it clearly made Peter a complete moron who couldn't lift a finger or figure out anything on his own without Big Daddy Tony helping. Tom Spider-Man, Far From Home was better, but it still couldn't let go of Tony, even after his character supposedly left the franchise. This second rebooted version of Spider-Man of Tom Holland's made me sad, because of how dumb Peter is and how reliant he is on others, namely Big Daddy Tony. This is not the brilliant Peter Parker I grew up with. But, finally, they got it right with Tom's third movie. The trailer spoiled so much of this movie and the actors involved, as trailers are designed to be spoiler-packed, Usually the very last scene of the movie is in the trailer, so I won't even go into the synopsis of what happens or who's in it. I just highly encourage you to see this ASAP and no, they finally got Spider-Man right. After 5 disappointing follow-ups to Spider-Man 2, they finally got Spider-Man back on track. I laughed so hard, even though it wasn't like the traditional MCU movie where it's mostly a comedy. These were genuine jokes and not just inserted to please the audience who apparently wants more comedic MCU movies than action-packed superhero movies. I cried a bit, even though it's mostly an uplifting movie. And yes, I marveled on how well acted and written this film is. Everybody gave it their 110% and no one stole scenes or outperformed anyone else. This was my endgame event. I loved this movie so much, I probably will buy it right away on Blue upon release. And to give you a hint of how much that is to me, I don't really buy Blu-rays anymore due to the convenience of streaming and of all 27 MCU movies, I only bought two so far. The rest, I can watch online if I feel like it. Most are forgettable, anyways. I heard they're building a new trilogy with Tom Holland continuing his role as Spidey. To be frank, before this viewing, I almost didn't want to see them. If this turned out just slightly better than Tom's second one which was just slightly better than his mediocre first one, I was pretty much done. For me, it was really good movie. It will find place in top 10 movies of 2021 in my list. Now, my spidey sense is tingling to see what they have in store for us next. Thanks for watching take care.